Hey man, y'all welcome to the channel. Shakur Stevenson say he gonna um, retire. I know why he's saying that. He catching all this. It's the top rank shit, man. You know, when Oscar was there, he was Hispanic and they still ain't, he still wanted to get out. They don't promote black fighters right, man. Just like they did Terrence Crawford. They wouldn't give him the Manny Pacquiao fight because they didn't want him to have that that star power, he got it now anyway. And now they doing the same thing to Shakur. It's crazy, they are gonna do the same thing to Keyshawn Davis. They better go to PBC, but this is what these boys had to say about it, Paul and come out, But like, you gotta wait like 10, 20 minutes before he actually comes out. I've been dying to give my take while you guys are talking. I've been dying. <laughs> go ahead. I'm pain right now. And my take keeps evolving as I listen to your ideas. Okay, here we go. Number one. I can't wait. I can't oh, wait to hear it. This is Top Stories only on Pro Box TV, your boxing channel. And well, it appears that Shakur Stevenson is retiring from boxing. Are we really buying this retirement announcement? And what spurred on this decision? We will talk about it here on Top Stories. I'm George DiMatteis with Teddy Atlas, Chris Algieri, and Paulie Marlinaggi. All right, let's get deep into this conversation here because Shakur Stevenson stunned the boxing world by announcing on X that he is officially retiring. Now, his tweet put out saying, I'm officially retiring from the sport of boxing. I'll be in the gym forever, perfecting my craft and helping the next generation become great and chase their dreams, but I ain't effing with this weak boxing game anymore. All right, before we get into some reactionary tweets, we'll put it that way, I want to hear from Teddy. Do we really buy this from Shakur Stevenson, who's undefeated, 26 years old, and still has a lot of great fighting left in his career? Are we really buying this? Maybe first he should concentrate on his writing skills and replace vain dreams with that. Um, maybe, you know, maybe a, a little bit of concentration on that, and then maybe we're taking it serious about some of the... See, this is the thing about Teddy Atlas, man. They always try to throw shots at black fighters trying to make them seem like they're ignorant. That boy is far from ignorant. And do I think he gonna retire? He, you know, a boxer's prerogative. He could say he retired, then he retired. But how long it's gonna last? The boy gonna come back, he gonna be great. And Teddy Atlas, man, if your favorite fighter ain't Terrence Crawford, your favorite fighter ain't better than, than this boy. So Shakur Stevenson, so you can keep, you can save all that. That smart mom drama trying to be funny, bro. You is not funny. You ain't Eddie Murphy. You ain't Dave Chappelle. You ain't Cat Williams. So so hang that up, Playboy. Man, y'all comment below. Y'all tell me if y'all feel like Ted Atlas just took a shot at Shakur Stevenson's intelligence and what y'all think about the situation he in with top rank. They got Lomacheco ducking him. Well, they don't want to, Bob Aaron don't want to let him fight Lomacheco because they know he going to win and Lomacheco just lost to Devin Haney. Shakur going to beat him worse. Then Neverati, he ducking too. Hey man, he gonna go over there and get knocked out though, cause uh, it knew it ain't gonna knock him out. Man, y'all comment, hit the like button, subscribe button. I'll let you boy.